Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm here at um, Alderbrook Winery. I'm with my old friend of many years, Colette Baldwin. How are you doing, Colette? I'm doing great. So you're going to take us on a little tour, as I understand, just of the grounds and just kind of telling us about Alderbrook, the wines, and uh, whatever the public needs to know about this great winery. I just did a tasting with you inside. Everything was amazing. The Carignan. Um, what was that blend? What's the blend called again? The, uh, oh, the Confluence. The Confluence. Yeah, that was great. So... Um, Whenever you're ready, we'll uh, we'll just follow you. Well, we always start our tour right we're right in the tasting room, greeting our guests and letting them know the history of Alderbrook mm -hmm. that we were established in 1981 um, by three gentlemen that lived on Alderbrook Lane. Um, we um, have our Tarlato wines here as well. They are our parent company, and um, Anthony Tarlato has been in business for over 50 years. Yeah. Our specialty here, obviously, is Zinfandel. We are in Dry Creek, so we have six different Zinfandels to choose from, and um, it's the perfect. Uh, uh, place to grow it and yeah. today it's well probably 100 degrees yeah and, oh. <laughs> and we're picking fruit yeah and we are harvesting right as we speak so we can take a little walk and you can sure. see what's going on and, in the winery and you just introduced me to the winemaker what was the gentleman's name again such Our a nice guy is brian parker and brian he's been parker with us for seven years yeah and he is definitely like a master of zins yeah and no um, kidding he just tried his wind machine in the tasting mm -hmm. room which is the uh, 2007 it has a 92 point rating mm -hmm. and uh, the wine enthusiast and uh, we have so many different zins to choose from, and they're all a little different from one, one another. So, you know, I invite everyone to come down and taste. Yeah, absolutely. And have some fun at Alderbrook. Yeah, you guys will not be disappointed. The wines here are fantastic. Uh, the zins are, I mean, full-bodied, confident zins. Um, so now Colette is going to take us on a little tour. We will check in with you guys in a couple minutes. See ya. Peace. Hey Tony, how you doing buddy? I'm Mike Madigan. Okay, so you said this used to be the, the prune spiel, you know, Healdsburg used oh, yeah. to be the prune capital of the well, world. You're standing in our winery and this building was built in about 1930, so it's pretty old. And um, it used to be housing prunes, like the prune capital of the United States, right here in our winery. It's yeah. a beautiful building. We got a lot of tanks in here. We got the lab in here. We do hand punch downs in here. So mm -hmm. it's got a lot of history, yeah. but better filled with wine than prunes, that's for sure. And today we have really <laughs> loud music. Woo! It's yeah. Harvest. Okay, all right. All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Peace. Okay, so tell uh, tell the audience what you were telling me, Colette, real quick. Yeah, well, we're on the crush pad. This is the critical path to winemaking. So it all starts in the vineyard. You know, you have to have quality fruit to produce a quality product. So once the grapes are weighed, they come in. And there's two critical paths. So the black fruit, crush it to stemmer, and then we have our Chardonnay that goes through uh, straight to barrel fermentation. So um, starting here on the crush pad, there's a lot of activity. Harvest is happening anywhere from August all the way through the end of October, and it's a very busy place. We just had fruit arrive today. We're cleaning up, and we're getting all the juice into the tanks. So we're free running into the tanks and adding the yeast and getting ready to make some wine. Um, these uh, tanks are really, uh, you know, big and interesting and we have to uh, take care to make good wine yeah. obviously they keep it the right temperature and fermentation can be anywhere from 7 to 21 days oh wow it's okay. fun cleaning the tanks too oh yeah that's what you just told me oh, that yeah. is I mean I you really have to appreciate um, the hard work of, of the crews I mean what goes into harvest what goes into production I mean people a lot of people don't know it and I mean after <laughs> the spiel you just gave me I mean all of the information you just divulged I'm, I'm inspired. I mean, I'm like really humbled by, uh, by what they do. It takes a lot to make one bottle of wine. Just yeah, that. absolutely. So uh, really quick, what, what, what vines are out there? We have Syrah growing out here, and we also have Zinfandel, where you sit on 60 acres and 57 is, is planted. So uh, with saying that, we have Block 9 Syrah, Syrah, and Zinfandel, and um, they're still hanging on the vines. It's not quite time yet. We're waiting for those brick levels to go up a little bit more. Yeah. And, uh, that's what the winemaker was just saying yeah absolutely. all right you guys so definitely come visit us or come visit Colette out here at Alderbrook uh, come visit the crew and uh, you'll have a great time I promise that being said <laughs>